100 years after the monument was originally dedicated, descendants of Confederate soldiers and others gathered near the Capitol recently to rededicate the monument to Hood's Texas Brigade, a legendary group of Texans who fought for the South during the Civil War. Anything involving this flag and what it represents is sure to draw controversy, and it's a topic that Texas Land Commissioner Jerry Patterson, who spoke to the crowd, addressed in his remarks, which came after he joined others in saluting the Confederate flag. I salute the Confederate flag with affection, reverence, and undying devotion to the cause for which it stands. You know, we question today, and I suspect tomorrow folks will, there'll be some commentary on the blog or maybe in the print or broadcast media about why are these people here? Why are they celebrating this anachronistic event that occurred 150 years ago? Why is it important? And aren't we, aren't we, shouldn't we try to put that aside and forget about it? Well, my answer to that is, I'll give you the reasons why in just a few seconds, but no, we should not ever banish our history to something that is now described as politically incorrect for discussion. I'm proud of all Texas history. I'm proud that not only did I pass resolutions in the Senate to honor Confederate veterans, I also passed legislation to establish a Juneteenth Commission that resulted, or will soon hopefully result in a, a Juneteenth monument here on the Capitol. I can take great pride in being a Texan and being the place where Juneteenth occurred. I'm not black, but I can still take pride in that event. I can take pride in this monument here or the monument to Terry's Texas Rangers. I can take pride in the fact that Texas history abounds with accounts of Tejanos, uh, eight of whom with Hispanic surnames died at the Alamo. I can take pride in all of that because that is our shared common heritage that makes us uniquely Texan. I think the Buffalo Soldiers, the black soldiers of the 9th and 10th U.S. Cavalry that served on the frontier in the 1870s and 1880s fighting the Indians, I think they were heroes too. What did the Buffalo Soldiers do? You could say that they participated in a genocidal war against an entire race of people, the American Plains Indians, if you wanted to deride their service, but I do not. They serve their country, they serve their nation, and they should be honored as the Hood's Texas Brigade and Terry's Texas Rangers are honored. I think we appeal to the truth of history and to the intelligence of the civilized world for the vindication of the actions and motives of the people of the South. And may the spirits of our dead comrades rise like the sun in his zenith, noontide, majesty, and tell us that they did not die for a lost cause. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, amen.